Hey, it's Amy with IP Exchange coming at you with the second video in our series on photonics with Superlight Photonics. And this time I'm joined with Haida Zia, um, and we're going to be talking about the technology itself, the uh, Superlight Photonics Supercontinuum Laser. So, Haida, first of all, would you like to introduce yourself and what you do at Superlight Photonics? Yeah, for sure. So, I'm the uh, founder and CTO uh, of Superlight Photonics, um, and what I do is build on the IP and advance the technology, the fundamental technologies behind our products and behind the process that, that we exploit to have these wide bandwidth lasers. Excellent. Um, so the first question I'd like to ask you, Haida, is what is a supercontinuum laser and how does this differ from a typical monochromatic laser? Very good question. So a supercontinuum laser is having hundreds of monochromatic lasers, each at a different wavelength, all at once, basically. So it's a coherent laser, but with a wide spectral bandwidth. And this is in a opposition to the typical kind of traditional laser sources that we're all acquainted with, like laser pointers and so on, mm -hmm. where you just have a singular frequency that's outputted, but uh, it has all the advantages of those laser sources. So besides the um, monochromatic uh, frequency that it outputs, it also outputs a very, very narrow beam that's mm -hmm. collimated over wide distances and the beam is not fluctuating in space and in time. It's very constant and very stable. So a wide bandwidth laser has all of that, but more colors. Excellent. So you mentioned the supercontinuum laser having all the benefits of a monochromatic laser but across a broad spectrum of bands. How does this compare to, say, a broadband light source and what applications would you use a supercontinuum laser for that you wouldn't necessarily use a broadband light source for? Yeah, that's a, also a very good question. So a broadband light source, for example, a halogen lamp or an LED source, they they indeed have uh, a wide uh, variety of colors that they output, but they don't have the what we call the coherence of a laser. So mm -hmm. when they emit uh, light, they emit it always in this wide um, three-dimensional angle called a large solid angle. And um, the radiation that's emitted is very fluctuating and noisy, so it lacks a lot of uh, properties that we need, for example, in high-end applications where we need very precise measurements of objects at very precise locations. So there you would need really a very well uh, collimated beam or a very well focused okay. beam with a multitude of colors to carry out information, to, to gather the information from the object. Nice. Tell me a bit more about Superlight Photonic Supercontinuum Laser. Um, what makes it so disruptive on the market compared to what's out there today? Yeah, uh, so basically uh, the IP is based on, on my idea uh, that mm -hmm. I developed in my, in my research at the University of, of Twente in my postdoctoral phase. Um, and the idea is really uh, to bring uh, supercontinuum lasers into the, into the photonics integrated platform and to really downscale these lasers such that they could eventually fit on chip. And um, the way, way I did that was to make the process, the generation process more efficient on chip. Mm -hmm. So uh, essentially, instead of having these very large bulky uh, lasers that's needed to drive the process, we now have very, very, it can be driven with very, very small lasers that are low power um, relatively to what was required before. And yeah, we could get uh, factors of a thousand, a thousands more in efficiency actually with 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 this IP um, that I came up with. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of laser physicists and laser technicians out there who know what a typical laser setup looks like. So, what does the Superlight Photonic Supercontinuum Laser look like when you compare it to a, a typical monochromatic laser? So. Yeah, so our products start with our major value add, which is the which is a photonic integrated circuit that contains our pattern alternating dispersion technology. So basically, all we have right now uh, one of the world's smallest seed lasers, a fiber laser that's pulsed. Um, it, it's mm -hmm. pulsed on the hundreds of femtosecond scale, 
Uh, this laser is then fed into a lens fiber, which goes into our chip and produces this uh, super continuum generation. And actually we can produce um, wide spectra uh, of, of 400 nanometers or above already at uh, 0.8 milliwatts of power. And okay. that compared to our competition is like, compare 0.8 milliwatts to three to six watt of mm -hmm. power. And, and you see the efficiency of, uh, of going in, in, in this technology and in, in the pick in the integrated uh, photonics space with super continuum lasers. <laughs> nice. You know, in conventional super continuum lasers, you have, you see the, the waveguide with a pulse, but then the pulse broadens in time and it loses its power. It specifically okay. loses its power to generate spectra. But our technology actually shapes the pulse such that it continuously generates spectra in the waveguide and extends the generation length possible. So you can imagine like a pulse being squeezed in our waveguide in all sorts of ways to maximize the bandwidth generation. But at the same time, we have a puffs of, of blue and green and yellow light coming off of this pulse that are also highly useful for uh, visible light application. Then we interface this with the smallest fiber laser that we could find in industry. Um, and the two come together to make this functional product. So, um, thank you so much, Haida, for taking us through that. We've also got a third in interview with Superlight Photonics coming soon, which will be about applications, so you can look forward to that. But if you want to learn more about the Super Continuum Laser from Superlight Photonics, uh, check out the write-up I did on the IP Exchange website, where you can also apply to evaluate the technology for use in a commercial project. Thank you again, Haida, for joining us, and I look forward to talking to your colleague for part three. Thank you for having me on board. I hope it's as interesting to you guys as it is to us. <laughs>